All right, good morning. It's 1035. We're going to get started. Um, appreciate everybody coming in today. We're going to have our uh, special guest today, Jeff Barnett of Colonial. Um, Florida Realty Investments is proud to offer you guys <clears throat> in conjunction with, with Jeff um, uh, benefits, health benefits. And uh, Jeff will explain those to you. He'll be able to answer some of your questions. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff. Jeff, I'm going to make you the host. So you'll be able to do screen share. And all I ask is that when you finish, you make me the host back or you will log off and kill the whole meeting. So I am going to make you the host right now. And I'd like to welcome you and uh, let you say a few words and get started. You're on mute. Can everyone hear me okay? Perfect, perfect. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for uh, coming today and, and joining this meeting. I'll try to keep it as simple and brief as possible. Um, and, and it's really going to be more of a quick overview uh, of the benefits that are being offered by Florida Investments. Um, if you need more of a detailed lineup or have lots of detailed questions, obviously uh, some of the questions end up being personal and uh, we will schedule a time for our counselor who is Dana Barnett uh, to visit with you guys and, and, and explain um, in more detail of how these products work and, uh, in your lifestyle and how they would pay if something were to happen to you. So uh, with that being said, I am going to try to pull up. Can everyone see what uh, uh, the screen I've got here? Life is anything but expected. Is that a yes or a no? I can't. That's a, that's nope. a no. You got to go on screen share. Pick that screen. Thought I did. There you go. Perfect. Let me get it where I can see it. All right. Um, I like to start out with this. Uh, life is anything but expected. That's why we're here. Uh, I would venture to say that the majority of you guys do not like talking about health insurance. Uh, I don't, other than I, I make uh, my living doing it. Um, but it's an expense that um, uh, none of us want to spend. Uh, none of us really want to do. But man, when you need it, you need it. Uh, and you don't need it till you do need it. So we're just going to visit shortly about some of these things. Um, the thing that I like to point out, and it's probably not going to apply to most of you, but uh, most people, most Americans don't have $400 set aside for an emergency, much less a couple, two or three thousand dollars. And uh, that's what these benefits are uh, designed to do. They're, they're designed to protect you and your income, your paychecks, your savings, if something were to happen to you. The first benefits that we're going to talk about today are what we generally call supplemental benefits. It's things that pay over and above your normal health benefits. At the end, there is uh, a program that we have available that uh, will uh, serve as a cost sharing uh, for your regular health benefits. But if you do have health insurance, these products that we're about to talk about pay you directly. Um, the, uh, it doesn't matter if you have health insurance, it pays over and above and the uh, premiums uh, are consistent. They don't go up as long as you continue to keep the policy in force. So um, what we will talk about today are accident, uh, cancer insurance, critical illness, 
disability, uh, hospital indemnity, that's kind of like gap insurance. It's helped to, it's there to help fill in the gap of your deductibles and then life insurance. Uh, all of those products pay directly to you. There will be uh, a dental offering, uh, which is by far the most popular. Um, it's a little different from the standpoint, it pays the provider. So it does not pay you directly, and we'll talk more in detail when we get to that. Um, the first one I want to talk about is accident insurance. It, it generally, it's very simple and straightforward. Uh, it pays you certain, certain amounts if you were to have an accident. It doesn't matter if it's a car accident. It doesn't matter if it happens on the job, off the job. Uh, it covers things as uh, common as lacerations uh, with or without stitches. Um, up to uh, there is actually a, a death benefit if you were to be killed in, a, in an accident. So it's pretty in depth. Uh, we have brochures that show uh, what it pays per different accident or any kind of fractures you may have. I'm going to give you an example of, and show you how it works. Our base plan is only $11.12 per month. Uh, and with that, you actually get a $50 wellness. That wellness is if you were to have lab work to go into the doctor for your annual uh, checkup. Uh, there's a number of different things it pays for you and it gives you $50 for being a healthy person and going to get your annual checkup. So uh, that's something that I, when I, have, I have an accident. I have a lot of different policies um, and I just look at it that that $50, my health insurance paying for that checkup anyway, that $50 just helps offset the premium, which makes it even more affordable. With that, that being said, I'm just going to give you a little example so you can see how it, it, it works. Uh, here, Olivia was driving to the store and she had a car accident. Uh, she ended up having to have an ambulance uh, ride, which uh, we paid $150 for. Uh, there was accidental injury due to the automobile accident. So there's a separate thing there that pays them for that. It's $250. When she got there, uh, she had to have an x-ray. So we gave $100 for that x-ray. It actually required some imaging studying, a, a CT exam. Uh, so she collected $150 for that. And then she got admitted into the hospital. So it's going to give her $1,000 just because she got admitted into the hospital. She was there for three days, so it paid an extra $600, and she actually uh, fractured her thigh. Now, an ankle pays differently than a thigh versus a back versus a finger. Obviously, the smaller the break, the less it's going to pay. Um, and then it actually required some surgery. It will pay for things like uh, medical equipment. It required some crutches in this case. And it will pay, uh, and it paid six follow-up treatments with physical therapy for eight days. So this one accident will pay Olivia fifty-eight hundred and twenty-five dollars. Obviously, all accidents aren't this extreme, but I just wanted to to kind of give an example of how this works, so you can see how it's a value based on the amount of money that you actually pay for the policy. Going on to cancer insurance, gentlemen, uh, I don't like to scare people, but statistics are statistics. One out of two men are diagnosed with some sort of cancer within their lifetime. Uh, it's one out of three women. Um, cancer works, the cancer policy very similar to the accident policy pays for your treatments. Here again, you may have health insurance in place, but this is gonna pay over and above because you may wanna do some things. You may wanna to travel to Minnesota to uh, have some treatments done. It's gonna pay for your transportation and your lodging. 
Um, it, it, it pays for specific uh, diagnosis that maybe is not covered in your regular health insurance. Um, I am quoting, uh, our, we have actually four different levels that Dana can speak to you about if you want to speak to her individually. Level two is by far the um, most popular, which is the one that I priced in this example. It actually has a $5,000 initial diagnosis benefit built into it. Its wellness is $100, not $50. How that $5,000 initial diagnosis works is if you are diagnosed with any kind of internal cancer, once the doctor has given you that diagnosis, you're going to file a claim with us immediately. And because of that, and they're going to check to make sure that the doctor did it, obviously. Uh, but once you get diagnosed with that cancer, we're going to cut you a check for $5,000. Um, that's the initial diagnosis. But what cancer does is it actually pays as you are being treated. So depending on whether it's radiation, uh, whether it's hospital confining, whether it's just screening tests, um, it, it pays for even child services um, uh, and some home health services. So there's a myriad of things that it covers. Here again, I can send you the uh, brochure that shows everything and how much it pays on each one. We're just trying to give you an idea today how these policies work. I'm going to give you a quick example. Um, uh, the, the gentleman that runs uh, the Orlando market, his son uh, at the age of seven was uh, diagnosed with leukemia. He has very good health insurance through Colonial. Uh, so he really didn't need any money, but he had actually a level four policy and uh, didn't really need the money to pay any of the doctors or the hospital stuff. Um, but our policy actually paid him out almost $70,000 in less than six months uh, going through all the treatment. Uh, once uh, the child uh, was released, um, he needed special treatment, special care because he had to go back to work. So he used the, that money to offset those expenses and any time that he may have had to take while uh, uh, off from work in order to uh, take care of his child. So here again, you make the decision how these products, uh, how the, the, the funds are used. Uh, it does not pay the doctor. It, it's your decision how you use it. You can use it to pay rent. You can use it to pay, pay your car payment. You may not need it and you can take a nice vacation once you're well. Uh, here again, it's, it's for you to use as you see fit. In this particular instance, the cancer policy runs $25.75 per month. Critical illness is an age-banded product, meaning the older you are, the more it's gonna cost. What it pays you is an indemnity. The indemnity, you select what that is. It can be anywhere from $5,000 to $75,000. The example I gave here is of a $10,000 policy, uh, which has a $50 wellness built into it. Uh, I selected um, three different age bands, depending on where you might fit. Uh, it's very, very inexpensive, and it pays uh, a lump sum if you are diagnosed with things like a heart attack, stroke, or uh, any kind of uh, major organ failure. So you, you, you have some chest pains, you go to the hospital or the emergency room, you see a doctor, you've had a heart attack, they're treating you for the heart attack. In this particular instance, once you're diagnosed with that, they're gonna cut you a check for $10,000. Here's the great thing about this is it will pay you for three different, it'll pay you up to three different times within your lifetime. So just because you cashed in on the policy at $10,000 does, does not mean that it will not continue for another diagnosis at a later date. So it will pay up to three times. After three times, the policy will go away. Here again, you can see uh, you know, anywhere from $3.05 per month. Uh, and if you're older like myself, 
um, you know, it costs seventeen dollars and twenty five cents per month. It's just nice to have that safety net so you don't have to dip into your savings when something does happen to you. Short term disability is is short term disability. You can customize this uh, any way you see fit. Um, you can have different uh, uh, elimination periods. You can do pretty much anything you want with it. It is for on and off the job. Our company, unlike some of our competitors, will pay you or your disability if you cannot do your job. Uh, a lot of them classified if you can't do a job big difference. Um, so if you are unable to perform your job because the doctor says you cannot go to work, uh, it will pay you. Um, you can select uh, any amount you, you want. Here again, I use $1,000 per month. As the benefit amount, you can go up to 60% of your income. Um, there will be more health questions the higher you go, and that's something that you can visit with Dana about if you have some interest. Here again, a three-month benefit for this $1,000 is $21.20 per month, up to a 12-month benefit of $38.50. We can go up to 24 months if you choose it. We do not exceed 24 months, and, and the main reason there is if anybody's been disabled, uh, disabled for 24 months, generally they're looking uh, to filing their social security disability. Life insurance is very straightforward. Uh, we offer term and whole life. Term uh, is dependent upon the length of term that you want. Um, I am quoting $10,000 worth of coverage um, the, the thought process behind that, obviously a lot of us want more than that, uh, is that if I was speaking to a normal employee, most employees don't even have $10,000 set aside to bury themselves if something were to happen to them. And then during that tragic instance, uh, then all that burden falls on their family members. But it is very inexpensive. It's $6.67 if you're at the age of 25 up to 45 at 11.07. With it being a 30 year term, um, it, it does not change pricing uh, until after 30 years. Um, you can choose it in intervals of 10, 20 and 30. Um, and because most people use this as a post-tax benefit, uh, what if you do have to claim the benefit, uh, it is not taxable from that standpoint. Now, if you write it off prior to your taxes, um, then it would be considered taxable income. And I say that because all of you guys are 1099 employees, so you're not going to be a payroll deduct. You're going to be paying directly to us. Um, but it is offered as a group product because Florida Investment Realty has... Uh, offered it to their employees and they wanted to open it up to all of you guys as well. There is also whole life that's available, which builds cash value and depending on your age can be paid up uh, at age 70 uh, and it will give you coverage until the age of 100. So uh, a lot of people like that because they don't have to worry about it uh, expiring after 30 years. This is a little different than the rest of those policies. You do have to have health insurance in order to enroll in this. Uh, the hospital confinement uh, is like what I like to describe as gap insurance, like gap insurance for your car. Uh, most people don't realize that once they go are checked into the hospital, they find out all of a sudden that they're out of pocket, sometimes up to $10,000 before their benefits actually kick in and start paying a major portion of it. That's what this is for. It starts paying you the moment you are admitted into a hospital. It has uh, outpatient benefits, surgical procedure benefits, um, and it also has a wellness built into it. I do want to address the wellness uh, very quickly. Um, let's just say you have an accident, 
critical illness in a hospital confinement and you do your annual checkup um, and you file a claim, you will be able to stack those uh, benefits, meaning that instead of a fifth, you don't have to go three times to get $50 each time. When you go that one time, you will file a claim on all three policies and we will pay you for each policy. So if you had those three policies, instead of getting $50, you would get 150. Um, this is an age banded product, depending on your age, I'm quoting you 17 to 49. And this particular product runs $28 and 20 cents per month. Dental insurance, it's the most popular and the most used. Um, this is a true PPO. All that means to you guys is that it pays the, the doctor. It does not pay you. Uh, our benefit that we are um, quoting you guys has a $2,000 ad uh, annual benefit. Uh, it also has a rollover benefit built into it. Uh, what that means is if you don't have any major work done like crowns or uh, dentures or fillings, uh, let's just say in 2021, there's a portion of it that rolls over. And uh, so that rolls over to the next year. And then if you do have uh, a, a large uh, procedure that needs to be done, you're going to have more benefit to pull from. Um, it also has a vision lighter on it. You can elect to do the vision or not to do it. Uh, I priced it out with and without. It's $30.84. Uh, dental only and $37.10 with the dental, uh, vi with the vision writer. Here's the great thing about this policy and all the policies that we're talking about today is they never increase in premium. So once you enroll in a product, as long as you continue to pay for the product and it is in force, it is not going to increase. Uh, these products uh, do not have to come up for renewal. Uh, so depending on the claims that's done, it does not matter. If it costs more to enroll next year, yours is not going to increase. And uh, it, does anyone have any questions about what we've spoken about so far? Okay. The additional benefit is um, that we're talking about, and, and this is what people look are looking at to use in place of standard health insurance. This is not health insurance. They call it health share. I'm enrolled in a program like this. My wife is, uh, several of my friends. I, I actually meet uh, doctors and business owners that are involved in this. The reason that you get involved in this is because the premiums for an individual are very, very affordable in comparison to standard health insurance. Uh, you'll have, when you speak to Dana, you can choose uh, your unshareable amount. And what I'm talking about with an unshareable amount, um, that means when you do get checked into a hospital or you get, have a sickness or something that is gonna need to uh, be covered, you will be responsible for that first unshareable amount. Some cases you may choose to, for it to be $500. You can go up to $1,500 or $2,000 if you want to. Obviously, the higher you go, the lower the premium is going to be. So everybody's a little different. Some people want a low unshareable amount. Others don't. Here's the great thing about this. Once you have paid your unshareable amount, then um, there are really no co-pays or any um, sh uh, cost sharing. Uh, you will get reimbursed, and I use the word reimbursed, um, by Sidera for the cost that is associated with your treatment. They have negotiated rates with most major healthcare care providers um, and um, they pay those rates based on that. I can tell you 
uh, a significant friend has this stuff and I recently had lunch with them um, and they were very, very pleased at how quick it paid. It takes a little bit to learn how to navigate through this stuff, but once you do, it, it is very, very simple. Um, and they generally pay before you pay you before any of your bills actually get to you or are due. It is HSA compliant, so you don't have to worry about that. And here again, with you guys being taxed uh, 1099 employees, you're going to be able to to fully tax deduct the expense of, of anything that might be going on here. As you see, I don't have any pricing on this because. It's really totally customizable and we can give you that pricing uh, when, if you want to find out more about it through Dana in, in a one-on-one -on -one consultation. There is something that I, we're gonna do for you if you choose to have that one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, is we're gonna offer a well card savings card. Uh, this gives you uh, prescription uh, drugs, uh, discounts, it, it, it has discounts for diagnostic testing. Uh, it, it actually covers some virtual veterinarian visits. Um, it, it gives you a medical bill advocate um, uh, benefit, uh, which means that if you end up with a large, large bill, they will negotiate that, that um, bill down for you. But here's the real true benefit to this is it has telemedicine built into it. Telemedicine is a big buzzword in our industry. I use it. Uh, the last thing I want to do if I have cold-like symptoms is to have to go to a doctor sitting that sit in the waiting room for an hour with people that are uh, more are sicker than myself. Uh, run the risk of catching something else. Uh, you schedule an appointment. You call the doctor on your phone. It, it, it's uh, like FaceTime. Uh, you talk about the things that you, what your symptoms are. And, and, and here again, it covers your family members. Um, and, and so and it costs you nothing. The only thing that will cost you is the telemedicine. If you choose to do so, it has a copay of $45. Um, and we're gonna enroll you in this uh, absolutely free just for speaking to a benefits counselor. There is an, another benefit that we're going to offer at no cost to you and it's called Law Assure. Uh, many people don't have wills uh, um, done for their families, trust, those type of things, power of attorney. Um, we are going to provide what we call Law Assure at no cost to you guys for one year. Once you register, it is good for a uh, calendar year. So we are going to be enrolling in, uh, starting now in this upcoming month of November with uh, LawHoon. And um, so we would get you registered and then you would have the majority of next year in order to uh, use it. Here again, it gives you an opportunity to get legal documents done at no cost to you. Uh, and Colonial Life is picking up the cost with that simply for having a one-on-one -on -one uh, counselor benefit session. Um, here is the contact numbers of who you can contact. I will get it to Ryan. I'll, I, I can actually send this PowerPoint to him so you guys can kind of review it. If you want additional information on a specific product, uh, you can let us know. We can send you an electronic PDF version of it. Um, and um, or you can just schedule a benefits counselor session. Dana can go more in depth with uh, what these products are and how they work. Um, all you have to do is either email her or myself uh, and find out, give us a time that you would be available with your telephone number and we'll simply just do this virtually over the phone. If you choose to do so, we can go ahead and enroll you at that time, set up all the paperwork 
and how the product or, or how you pay for it is we just set up uh, an ACH with your bank account and each month it will come out. If you pick out $25 worth of benefit on a certain date, $25 just come, simply comes out of your bank account. Then you don't have to worry about uh, scheduling it. it. It comes out. It'll be good. It's constant. I can tell you that uh, I have three policies that I got from a previous employer. The reason I didn't enroll in it once I went to work for Colonial Life is because they were age banded products and I didn't want the premium to go up. I was much older, the products cost more. And so I was able to keep it uh, at the same rate by just paying for it directly. All these products or most all these products uh, can cover uh, spouses and children. Uh, here again, Dana can go over the cost of that if you choose to uh, speak to her about anything. With that being said, um, I'm going to stop sharing and send this back to Mr. Ryan. Did I do the right thing, Ryan? Uh, you got to go down on my, uh, there's three dots by my name there on my screen and make me the host. Got it. Yep. Good job, buddy. Um, all, right. all right. So, um, you guys have any questions for for Jeff? No questions. Awesome. Um, Jeff, if you don't mind, will you put your um, your contact information in the chat, please? Sure. Jeff, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, the legal part that you have mentioned about the attorney to do the wills and stuff, do we just call contact you or do you put us give us the information and we go directly to the attorney? All, all you need to do is either contact myself or Dana and I'll put the contact information into the mm -hmm. um, uh, chat box and I will send that information to Ryan to distribute to everybody and the only thing you have to do to get that is just uh, go through a quick five minute benefit con consultation with Dana she's got the codes and everything she can give it to you we enroll you in that whether you participate in anything or not we just want an opportunity to go a little more in depth and, and talk to you about it does that make sense okay okay yeah but they are your attorneys, right? It's Colonial Life's attorneys. Is that what no, I'm No, it is uh, an outside company, and they are called Law Assure. We pay for the service. They provide it for you. What, what do they charge to do a will? It, it won't cost you anything. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm trying to find the chat box, Ryan. I, I don't do Zoom very often. Okay, so the health insurance policy, I've missed some parts of it. Sorry about that. I have to take this call with work. Um, okay. The health insurance part of it. So we get a full health coverage. Is that what you're saying through Colonial Life? I'm going to let Dana, I'm asking Dana to come over here. She's in the office with me uh, and, and go a little more in depth with that health insurance for you because it is a little different. Okay. So what was your question I one more time? I'm sorry. Is that like a regular health insurance policy, like a Blue Cross Blue Shield, or is it a subsidize to what we should be having? Well, it's actually neither. It's a totally different concept where you have a lot of people from across the United States all pooling their monthly premiums together, like in a large savings account. Okay. And you can choose the first amount of money that you want to be responsible for say all of a sudden you're diagnosed with something new or you've had an accident okay and you now go to the emergency room and you need treatment and things like that so you now have something new okay i don't know you fell and broke your leg you get to choose the first portion of the bills that you want to be responsible for and then you will submit the remaining portion of the bills and have them uh, reimburse you for that. So this uh, is not Florida Blue, it's not Cigna, United Healthcare, or Aetna. It's a totally different concept that costs less money because we can't call it traditional 
health insurance. We can't call it, you know, traditional deductibles, you know, like the amount that you pay for first. We can't call it any of that. So if I go to see a doctor, I'm not going to get reimbursed uh, for a doctor visit. It is only for catastrophic. Uh, it's, it's for more serious accidents and sicknesses. Yes. Because let's just say okay, you can so go it is see for a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a backup policy. And I right, pick an so, amount for that, you're saying? What was your last question? I'm sorry. I pick an amount for that. And on that, it, the my premiums are based, right? Correct. And I know who you are. You do? My kids went to school with your kids. I just saw your name on the screen. Oh, maybe. My do you live Dr. Phillips? Lynn and Wesley Wood. She's going to get oh, in the camera. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How are I you? I just recognized your name and your voice. Yeah, where did you disappear? <laughs> I'm in the same place. Where did you disappear? I'm in the same place. I've been 25 years in Dr. Phillips. <laughs> yeah, I'm 21 years. Oh, good. We have point, to get together. Sure. I do want to point something out about the doctor uh, visits that I found out personally. Uh, I used to have traditional health insurance with the company I work for. And the copay for a specialist was um, $75. So I was going to my heart doctor and every time I go visit, I'd pay the $75. Everybody's familiar with that. So now I don't have this traditional health care. And so I go to the doctor and I say, look, now I'm self-pay. And mm. uh, so I said, what's the cash price for me just to pay for this visit? I was stunned when he told me $50. Oh, then so, that's, that's right. You're, you're an established patient. Though. But I was an established patient, but it was just, it was, it was crazy to me that my cash price cost me less than what my copay was. So there is yeah. a lot of added benefits. A lot of people, um, you know, get traditional health insurance because they want copays on their medications. I can tell you there are ways to get larger discounts on your medications so that you get more medication for a longer period of time for less money. Unless it's a specialized medication. Unless it's very, very, it's a specialty that's specific that, but your traditional things, it's, it's, it, 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 it takes a little more work on our half behalf, but it does work better and it is more cost efficient. Um, I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't. Okay, if uh, if you choose not to do the health insurance part, you can get the vision and the dental, right? Absolutely. Okay, I can see Ryan smiling. I'm going to go away. Hello, Akshay and Sunil. We said hello. Sunil passed away three years back. Oh, I did not know that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Sunil That's passed awful. away three years. Yeah, I lost my husband. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. And that's why I said I haven't seen you for a while. You've disappeared. So, but we'll get together. I got your phone number from the screen. Fantastic. Same number. Yeah. Yeah. Dana, okay. Dana, we're trying to run a meeting here. Um, <laughs> so I, uh, um, all right, guys. Um, any other questions for Jeff um, before, before we let him go? Uh, one, one question for me, Brian, real quick. Yes, Malvis. Uh, Jeff. Does that type of insurances that you're offering, uh, you mentioned that they don't cover specialty medications. Is IVIG considered specialty medications for the pharmacies that you use? I, I don't know that specifically. IVIG, is that what you IVIG. Said? It's for autoimmune disorders. Okay. We can check and, and find out if, if that's one that can be uh, discounted. Malvis, Malvis, write that in the chat. The, just, the, just those initials to make sure he got the right letters. Okay. Have you ever looked that up on GoodRx? No. Okay. But GoodRx is not a big deal because I've compared my Synthroid on it. It's like a four or five dollar difference between pharmacies and GoodRx. It really yeah. depends on the medication too. Yeah. Jeff, it's in the, Jeff, it's in the chat. I-V-I-G. Okay. And Actemra. Actemra. Okay. Very expensive meds. Okay. 
I will check um, into it for you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Can um, you send me her email, uh, Ryan? Yeah. Or maybe she, why don't you just send me an email and then I will check into it and respond back to you. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Any other questions for Jeff? No. Okay. Um, all right. Well, thank you, Jeff. And uh, anything you guys need, you guys have his email. Um, as much as I love to be in the middle of everything, I, I you guys can email him directly. Talk to Dana uh, about your specific issues. Um, and uh, I appreciate you, Jeff, coming on and explaining all these things. We are uh, we are uh, appreciative of it. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for having me. All right. Take care, bud. Okay, guys. Um, we are going to talk about a couple of other things. Um, we, I had promised you guys last week, uh, advertised that we were gonna talk about the NOC program. Are you guys familiar with NOC certification? No. No. Anybody heard of it? No. No. So we don't have the people in here who wanted to know about it. Uh, so, well, I should have advertised it again this week. So, um, all right, well, that's, I'll just give you guys a brief, actually, I'm gonna do a screen share with you guys and kind of go through this. Um, you guys welcome to your own research. This may be a tool you guys can use. I have nothing to do with it at all, um, but it may be something you guys can use to increase your value to your clients. Um, NOC Real Estate. So NOC is a program um, and it is a, it's a company. And I'm going to go through this just quickly with you guys, but I want you guys to read up on it. Um, you can see up here the, the link, and I will um, put that in the chat. Um, all right. So what NOC does, it's different from a traditional iBuyer. iBuyer just comes in and buys your house. NOC is going to help you buy your new house and not have to have it as a contingency because most people don't have the ability to buy, and buy another house if they're already in one. Um, they'd have to make it a contingency on the contract, which makes you in this market, your, your offer a little less attractive to sellers, right? So NOC is going to, um, NOC uses a trade-in model where sellers get to consolidate their transaction in one straightforward process. As a company, NOC underwrites the purchase of your new home and they help you list and sell your old home. NOC real estate guarantees they'll help you to find you what you want before you have to sell your old home and won't have to worry about juggling two mortgages or dealing with closing time struggles. So before you start thinking that this is a, uh, this is a competitor of yours per se, um, you get, you as an agent get NOC certified. The company certifies you to work on their behalf. Okay. So you don't necessarily, I don't believe you have to have a client. I believe they will send you that. Now there probably is some kind of referral if they send you someone else. I don't know enough about it yet for that but I know agents are becoming not certified. So uh, just so you know what they're talking about or know this is an opportunity, I want to share this with you. Um, home swap, uh, not home swap process sounds simple, but how does it actually work? First step is qualifying, obviously for that, because they're going to buy you a house and charge you the difference there. Uh, not will cover up 25,000 for your home repairs. So you can ensure that your home will sell for top dollar. Um, you can use this money to prep for sale and marketing. After you sell the home, NOC will settle all the costs during closing and transfer the home you bought into your new name. So you have them buy you a house. You guys, I'm gonna let you guys read up on this. Um, you submit your information to NOC Real Estate, pre-qualify. If you qualify, you'll receive the funds to make a non-contingent offer on the new home of your choice. Seller accepts your offer and you close, you'll have to move in and will be responsible for the new mortgage payment, not two, main, not two payments. You'll then list and prep your old home for sale with Knox Help. If you can't find a buyer within six months, Knox will, Knox will buy your home at a predetermined price, probably below market. Um, but who can't sell their home in six months? Once your home, especially if you have 25 grand to fix it up for sale. Once your home, old home is sold, you'll pay Knox back for any mortgage payments, repair costs, or any other expenses you incurred, they advance you. And then there's a convenience fee of 1.25% that you need to consider. Um, is not different from an iBuyer. iBuyers, obviously, they have a convenience and simplicity, uh, but this is a trade-in process. This is for people who are buying and selling, not just selling. 
Um, find out if you're home, but here are the steps. You guys can read through all this stuff. I'm going to put it in the chat, but I want you guys to read through it and we'll talk about it again next week. Um, but I want you guys to read through this now that you're aware of what it is. Perhaps it is something that could help you. I'm going to stop the screen share. Um, perhaps it is something that can help you um, be successful, be more successful. Um, I'm going to share that here. There's the link. Um, so check it out. That's just a, there's a good thing on it. it. Goes on and on and on. I didn't I didn't go a third of the way down this article, but it goes on and on. It talks about all the cities it works in, which is obviously Orlando, Tampa, Miami, um, all the places that we're working. So um, I, I don't know about areas in between, uh, like Orlando and Tampa or Orlando, and Miami, but uh, I don't know how far it goes out from each metro area. But uh, for most of you guys, that would cover you. All right. And I have a question here. Do we have any agents in Fort Myers, Cape Coral? Uh, we go as far as south as Sarasota. So to answer that, George, I don't think so. Um, so I don't, I don't know how to help you on that. I know George has got a link. I think you put it on our FRI agent page. And if nobody responded, I, I would take that as, as that we probably don't. Um, usually even a Sarasota agent would offer to, to help you down there, but it's a different MLS uh, when you get down to Fort Myers. Um, we haven't gone that far south. Any other questions or comments? Anything you guys want to talk about today? If you have any actual questions about that insurance now that Jeff's gone, you want to talk about them? That's fine too. Um, I, I am a uh, I am a customer of theirs on the serious illness side. Um, I don't mind sharing you that with you guys. Just a, just an insurance policy. I don't have a serious illness yet, but just insurance. Um, and uh, Carissa is a customer of theirs on the uh, Sidera, um, and I know a couple others are too. So. Um, and a lot of our employees are customers of theirs on all kinds of stuff, the wellness programs and stuff. So um, been great so far. We've been doing it with them for about a year now and it's been great so far. Any um, questions or comments? Daryl, I can't hear you. You're not on mute, but I can't hear you. Can't hear a thing, buddy. Um, anybody, any questions? What do you guys want to talk about? I have another question, Ryan, a different different deal I'm working. I'm trying to find out what the, whole, the, the MLS condo hotel property description means versus a hotel ver and, and or a condo. And I can't find an MLS definition anywhere on Stellar MLS's help for videos. And uh, their helpline, they lost a, a site yesterday. So their helpline was is slammed. Um, anybody know what that is? My understanding is that it's a condo with fractional ownership that's run by a hotel. A lot of times those owner, that ownership is, is consolidated for most of the units or something like that. And they have, uh, they run it like that. But I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, legally or loan wise, that might be what you're most interested in is the loan for it. Um, I don't know enough to know that, but I think it's a condo that's run as a hotel. Okay, thank you. Um, but uh, I, I, um, that's only as good as that. Well, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try MLS when uh, they get their problems fixed with one of the boards and um, they can actually don't put me on hold for a week. Well, my information is, is worth every penny you just paid for it. So nothing. Um, but I apologize for that. But I, I actually live in a condo building that is also part of it is done as a hotel. So it's, I, I don't know what this place would be. But uh, I know a lot of people own some of the units I rent from the developer. Um, and the developer runs the hotel. So I don't, I don't, I'm not real sure. Interesting, though, I'd like to find out, George, when you find out. Yes, uh, Daryl, you, can you talk now? I don't know. Can you hear me now? Yay! I fixed it. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm computer literate. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, I joined Sidecar Insurance like last month, the month before. My premiums where I was, and I, I've only got critical care insurance. Um, I'm, I'm rarely ever, ever, ever sick. Don't go to the hospital. Really, I've only been in the emergency room like once in my life. Um, and my premium was going up to like 380 a month. I'm what, 57? Anyway, um, it was going through the roof at 380 a month. And I'm like, why am I paying for, you know, with a high deductible? So I found sidecar insurance. I still have the super high deductible. It's like $10,000, but it's critical care. I pay 249 a month now. So just right. to let everybody know, let them know to check it out and everything. You know, it's critical care, but it's up to $2 million. So um, yeah, so if you, get hit, think, sorry. if you get hit by a bus, it covers you. You're not going to go, you're not going to be bankrupt the rest of your life and with a broken back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got to put out 10,000 bucks, but you know, that's the deductible, um, right. but it's only two, it's only 249 a month. In other words, it's not going to break me if I have a really bad accident and have to be put in the hospital. It's critical care or cancer. Uh, if I come down with cancer or something. I would, I would look at this, um, this, uh, Daryl, even for you, I would look at this Sidera. Um, mm -hmm. If you do not have, it does not cover pre-existing, but if you do not have pre-existing, like I'm in the same boat as you are. If you don't have pre-existing um, and you don't, uh, you know, you don't, uh, even if you go to the doctor a lot stuff, which I don't either, I'm with you. Um, you, uh, it's, it's got the, it's like a, two, it's got 1500 $2,000, $2,500 deductibles per incident. It doesn't have to be in the same year or whatever, just in, per incident. Um, and uh, it's, it's a little cheaper than that, I believe. Um, and it's, that's, that's all the thing is, and you do it and they give you the cash rates or whatever, and you, which are much lower than your insurance rates and stuff, but talk to them about it. I, okay. I, I won't give insurance advice any more than regular. Which is yours, Daryl, which is yours? It's called Sidecar, Sidecar side Health. Can you uh, and, and, put it on the chat? Sure. Sidecar? Sidecar Health, I know it's a weird name. Um, I know, just put it on the chat, please. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, you, when you go to the doctor or something, you tell them that you're self-pay and they give you actually a visa card to pay the bill with. Um, and then you, sub, you, know, you submit the receipt to see if you get any back, which I never do because I got a high deductible. <laughs> but anyway, I'll put it in the, um, in the chat. Thank well, you. you. Know, this, was the, this was the problem with the, um, with the health marketplace that the government has is you know, they said, well, healthy people aren't, aren't signing up, even young, healthy people that could do it for 25 bucks a month. And, you know, somebody who, who, um, who makes $30,000 a year, even if their payment's only 50 bucks a month, but their, but their deductible is 10,000, do they really have health care? I mean, if you got to pay, right? So that's why healthy people aren't signing up. So, um, so the only people signing up were people with pre-existing and which are very expensive. And so that's why it was running at such a, a deficit and they were having a hard time. So, um, and when the numbers would look bad, they'd say, well, healthy people aren't signing up. Well, it's not attractive to healthy people. Um, okay, so even at, uh, even at $17 a month, people weren't signing up. All right, so um, any other questions about that stuff or anything? Let's talk about real estate. I want to find how I can promote my listings in two other, uh, you know, any other places. Uh, I have it on MLS, realtor.com. Uh, market is hot. Uh, Margarita will like address the issues with you, Ryan. But um, the other one I have in Dr. Phillips, I've had a lot of showings, but no offers. What else can I do? A lot of showings with no offers generally means it's not showing well or not showing to be worth the value. Especially in well, this market. It's priced right. I, it cannot be priced better well, than it, Right. Uh, bad pricing gets you no showings. Bad showings get you no offers. So there's something about the something about the unit or the, the house. And you you told me a little bit about it. It sounds like it's a nice house. It's like is this the seven ninety nine one or something? Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I mean, there's nothing wrong and they've put new sod, they've painted it. Uh I mean, and I got it, uh, I got uh, soft staging done. Um, 
I don't know what else. A few people that were interested complained about a bedroom downstairs, but that's all I've heard. Because all the bedrooms are upstairs. And it's in Dr. Phillips, Meritage Homes, has all that green energy stuff and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If you if you're not getting offers in this market, something about it is not is not right. I've I mean, done two is, open houses. What are you guys seeing out there in the in the upper end of homes? I, I know the 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 four hundreds and four fifties and stuff. You get uh, multiple 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 offers. What are you guys seeing in the seven hundreds, eight hundreds, nine hundreds? Seeing anything like that? Ryan, I just sold one in Windermere for seven fifty, and it would probably have been a million dollar home if we'd upgraded it to the normal, uh, well, not normal, but normal for that price range. It could have gone up to one point one million, uh, but the homeowner wasn't in condition to do it, and it was too big a risk for my investors uh, to do uh, at that price. And so it, it took the right buyer. We had a, a lot of interest, a lot of showings, no offers. And then, uh, but the people that were, were interested in it were looking at it for what it could be, not what it was. So I, I don't know if that helps or not. The house was, I, we, we put quite a bit of money into getting the landscape back. You know, we did a lot of work to it, um, but we didn't remodel it. And, uh, and everything was working. I put a big time homeowner's warranty on it and, uh, and we got it sold. But a woman who's buying it is a lawyer coming out of uh, Broward County. And she is calling me all the time for who do I get to do this? Who do I get to do that? So her goal is to live in it because it's fully, it's perfectly livable, uh, is to remodel it as she lives in it. So I don't know if that helps or not, but that's that's what I ran into. It just takes the right buyer. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right, and and I, I think it's a good point. Um, a lot of these houses, what do people buy? People buy typically everything that they can, everything they could get pre qualified for. All most of the cash that they have laying around, whatever they'll spend it on it because they really want to buy this house, and they really want to put twenty percent down, and they really want to do whatever. When you start getting these upper end stuff. But they, what they don't want to do is pay seven fifty for a house, and and spend you know one hundred twenty thousand dollars fixing it all up because you go in and it's an older house and it's dark and it's you know doesn't have a lot of natural light and it's got carpet and it's got this and that and lower ceilings or whatever it is if it's a little bit older house. A lot of people spend every penny they have. They don't want to go through the if they're going to spend nine hundred thousand, they'll just go buy a nine hundred thousand dollar house. They don't, it's ready to live in and it's nice and, and bright and cheery and it's, it's got the, the, the marble and everything that they want. Um, it's modern. As opposed to going in and, and, and having the vision and the cash available and the patience to um, go buy a 750 house like what George is talking about and put in 120 and have it be worth a million one, right? So they're, they're, they're not willing to do the work and they're not what they don't maybe have the cash or the expertise. And, you know, like this woman is, is calling George a lot for, for help. Um, and they don't have anybody they can count on for help. They don't know what they're doing. They're scared of it. They're intimidated. They don't have the cash. They don't have whatever, whatever reason they don't want to go do this. So I think that's important to, to remember when you're doing this and it does, it takes the right buyer um, because most people want to buy the nicest house they can for whatever money they've got. And they want to live in it tomorrow and they want it to be nice. They want their life to be better tomorrow by moving into this house. They can't wait for the closing date. They can't wait to move into this fancy house that they finally were able to buy. And so I think it's uh, I, that's a great point, George. But the house that, that Sanina has, she shared with me the other day um, because she's frustrated, was built in 2013, I believe she said. Yes. And, and it's a nice neighborhood and, and Dr. Phillips and it's, uh, you know, a, a nice house. And they've re redone the whole thing. They've painted new sod. I mean, you have to just Sunaina, walk in. Sunaina, I would show that to a friend and ask them why they wouldn't buy that house. Okay, I'll do show, that. Show it to a friend because you're but not seeing it. I have a friend for the same. Uh, show, it, show it to a friend that you trust that, that would be buying in a house, uh, buying in that range. Somebody, you know, don't show it to a friend who lives in a $10 million house. Or, or a friend who lives in a $200,000 house. Show it to a friend who would be buying in that range or looking in that range. Um, okay. 
um, before, yeah, she's your your uh, your your um, offer of compensation is fair. Um, everything is fair. So Nina also has uh, a house in Margaritaville that that is priced, I think, appropriately now. So now, yeah, now, now, listen to this. I get two calls. I call the owner because the property managers are a nuisance there. And it was empty till Friday. They rented it out. Now I cannot show it again when people are ready to buy. Okay. So I'm going to tell them, go on a virtual tour and put up 45 days because, again, it'll be empty. The property okay. managers keep renting it out, short-term rental. Okay, well, she's got a short-term rental there if you guys know anybody who wants to, and like around 700, 720? 749. It's a four-bedroom, okay. four-bath, fully equipped. You don't even take a spoon with you. Everything is in there. And he's getting about 450 a night rental. Okay, well, there you go. So if you guys need something like that, let, let Sonia know. Um, all right, guys, any other questions or comments? That's it. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, I am uh, looking for myself for a house, and I one popped up on the market yesterday. I just started looking yesterday. My condo is kicking everybody out when their lease runs out. Mine runs out in April, so I um, went to the the developer and I said, uh, "Just to confirm you're kicking everybody out of this building when their lease comes out, right?" And they said, "Yes." Um, cause they, they're selling the units like crazy. They sold five last week condos in this building. And I said, uh, well, what if I leave early? And she said, bye. So, um, they don't, she didn't say that, but she said, that's fine. No problem at all. We'd love to have the unit. And so I started looking yesterday for a house. So I went last night, looked at a house, called the agent. She said, yeah, I put it on at 1230 this afternoon. Um, this is at 545 in the evening. She said, I have three offers. Um, and uh, I said, well, can I go look at it? Sure, absolutely. So I go to look at it. There are two people, two, there's a lady waiting, an agent and a family waiting to see it. And there's one inside. So I was number three in line to see this thing. And uh, it was a nice place. I made an offer on it. And Which area it was, is it in? Which area? Uh, the Claremont area. Claremont. I made an offer on it. And she says, uh, she wrote me back this morning. We have 10 plus offers, um, most with, uh, all above asking and most with uh, large appraisal gaps. And I said, okay. So um, I, it was the first one I looked at and the first one I offered. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna go crazy, but um, I mean, that's what we're dealing with. And, and that, so that market still is there. And that's in the, in the, that's in the high force. So that market still is there, it's crazy. So um, you guys keep, uh, keep you guys keep telling me that's slowing down but I, not in that that's that's I mean, it's a nice house but that's crazy so um any other questions or comments um reshu you want jeff's email i thought he put it in here if you scroll up yes he did jeffrey f dot barnett at colonial life sales dot com he's in there if you scroll up reshu you'll see jeff's email Um, any other comments, questions, real estate related, anything else? Personal problems, get Daryl's info, contact Daryl. All right, guys. Um, well, we will see you soon. Malvis, nothing today. Just for Jeff, you had a question for Jeff and nothing for me? Oh. No. All right. All right. I think this is the first forum that I don't have one question. All right. Well, have a wonderful day um and i will look forward to talking to you guys again next week um we've got oh i want to tell you guys we've got um a uh an attorney coming into our i, I know i told you guys about uh the thing that nishad's doing we actually have an attorney coming here to you guys on the 17th it's going to be a special time of 9 30 a.m we have an attorney coming and a real estate attorney telling you guys about all the changes to the far bar to the as is all right so hey, Ryan, we have an attorney. Yes, George. I'm sorry. I uh, didn't mean to step on you. I have a question. Is anybody out there seeing um, this happen on this Windermere house? The insurance underwriting made her change out both hot water heaters. One was an 80 gallon. The other was a 50. 
because they were over 10 years old, even though I had put a warranty on them. Uh, so in their inspection, it's the first time I've had it with, with that, not an issue. They originally asked me to pay for them, but I said, well, show me what it's going to take to satisfy the insurance company. And she had 30 days after closing to get it done. So they backed down from that immediately. But uh, she did have to have both of them replaced. One of the leads I gave her to, to get that done. But uh, is, is that fairly commonplace? These were at least 10 years old, but I think their, their, their limit on the hot water heaters were 10 years old. Um, I think, uh, George, I have heard of this um, from, from a couple of agents. Um, I believe that it is an explosion issue um, with older ones that get sediment in them and the wiring goes bad, et cetera. I believe they're more likely, I think it's more of a uh, uh, hazard than anything else, um, or they've determined it to be, or they just want to jack your rates up. I don't know. Well, and that was, it's, it's a water damage issue is why the insurance company was doing it. But one of them in the garage with the, the uh, blowout valve, well, both of them had blowout valve trains to the, uh, to the outside. So there shouldn't have been water damage even from the one from the interior if it was plumbed correctly. And the one on the, the garage literally would have ran the water down the driveway. And they didn't even inspect. They just said, it's over 10 years old. We're not writing unless you change it within 30 days. It's, yeah, they don't want to hear all, they don't want to hear all that. They, they, they'd rather just make a, a rule and you have to abide by it or go down the street. So, yeah, so they just made a rule. Um, that's typically what they're going to do. Just well, it will probably change my uh, approach to putting warranties on things that are over 10 years old that don't come in a standard warranty package. Or, so that's part of, part of my sales. I mean, it's a waste of, of my money to do that and then have the insurance company kick it out. Yeah. I agree. And the prices of water heaters that went through the freaking roof. I just had a what? 30 gallon or 40 gallon replaced 1400 bucks now. I'm like, holy crap, where did these prices come from? Yeah, you say Seriously? water heater. You say water heater, I think 800. You know, I just, yeah, for whatever. Uh, I even, we used to install all of our, on our cells back in the day, but yeah. now it, it's a regular gas. What is it, 40 gallons, 1400 bucks? Dang. 40 gallons, wow. I wow. think it's 40. It's either 40 or 30. I know, crazy. And it's a good reputable, and that was actually one of the cheapest prices. So, George, you're looking at probably around three thousand. Replace both of those. Yeah, right. I don't know what she got for the price. My pricing on if we got the eighty, the eighty gallon was an anomaly. We were talking twenty five hundred dollars in in product and then an installation. Wow. So um, that that was the price I was going to have to eat if I had to end up doing it. Wow. Wow. Um, okay. Any other questions or comments? I like to share something uh, that I've learned. Um, I got a text message from some people, uh, at home key with uh, locksmith on my recent closing. They do house, they rekey all the locks uh, for $89 for realtors um, discounted price. So I thought I'll share that if if you want to. Can you can you give me the number? I'm looking to get uh, the my Supra log box and stuff. Give me the number, please. Put it on the chat. Thank you. Yes, uh, this is to rekey the door locks in a house. Uh, his his name is Ernesto, and they only do it for eighty nine dollars. So I thought it was a good um closing gift if the buyers don't want to change the locks of their home because they like them uh you could do that let me find his number hey Melvis, have you tried them yet have i have not them? i actually this is the first time i'm going to use them um because this customer the house door is custom made and the lock is different and i um, want to keep it so uh, i'm just going to use it as a custom as a closing gift for them and it's cheap. It's only 89 bucks. Sorry. I know, just, just regular doorknobs, just a front door doorknob. Just no, nothing. They, no, no, no. Just they 40 do, bucks now. 
they do, uh, they give you six keys and they do up to six uh, locks. Sorry, I'm trying to wow. find it. That's a good price. If, they, if it works, that's a good price. Anybody has a, one second, let me see if I'm on mute or not. Anybody has a good locksmith, please let me know because my Supra lockbox is stuck. I got a great suggestion from Ryan to open the lock, but I think that's going to be harder work. So I'm looking for a locksmith. The Supra has asked me to get it cut and bring it to them because they hadn't charged the Supra lockbox and it got stuck. So they're ready gonna, to take it back. If you're going to cut it, you just need bolt cutters. Bolt cutters? Okay. Bolt cutters. You've seen those big things that go like this and you... Well, I'm not that technical. They're, well, okay. they're a lot bolt cheaper, cutters. a lot cheaper than a locksmith. You okay, can go, bolt. You can get them at home but Depot. anybody has locksmith also, please put it out on the chat. She just Thank said you. Ernesto at home keys. And there, there's I got number. that. I got Ernesto, but I didn't get the phone number. I'll take it. There it is. She put it on there now. Okay, thank you. We're all working for you, Sonata, whatever you need. Thank you so much. Every Wednesday Ryan. we work for Sonata. All yeah. right. Um, hey, Duel, how are you doing? A thumbs up. Awesome. Good, good. Awesome. I have the one listing in um, Dr. Phillips, but I listed it under, you know, market value of $600, But I got a couple showing, but nothing like Sonina was saying. So I don't know if because of the high price. Where is it? Uh, where is yours? It's, it's 8588 Somerville Place in Torrey Pines. 88, 8588? What is it? 8588 Somerville Place. Somerville Place. How big is the house? It's um, it's about 2,900 square feet. 2,900. What are they asking? We're at, Torrey um, Pines is, is, Torrey Pine is right there. East it's right, of, by, um, right by St. Uh, Luke's Church and all that, right? Yeah, correct, yeah. Correct, no, correct. Yeah, there's a know. lot of churches over there. And yeah, Olympia High it's School. It's subdivision. Let me, what is the price on it? Six ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, six ninety nine. Yeah. It's a nice, it's, a, it's on a big lot with pool and everything. It's over hey, half a Hey, Edel. Contact yeah. Jason. Contact Jason Fulmer um, to make sure that he's looked at that house. He specializes Ooh. in Torrey Pines. Jason Ooh. Fulmer, F U L M E R. Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. He specializes in that neighborhood. Make sure he's looked at that. What you have good his guy. number? You have his number? Uh, I don't. It's, it'll I'll be on MLS, buddy. Look him up on MLS. There you go. Okay. What is the square footage you said on the house? I'll show it to you. I had, a, I had an offer. I had an offer on it and um, 2934. 2934. Yes, a 4-3 pool. And built, in, built in probably 1980. 91. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's an older subdivision. Yeah, three car right. garage. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, decent. Um, only two people lived in it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah. Call, call, uh, call that guy and see what. Uh, see, make sure he knows about it. Um, yeah. Any okay. other questions or comments? Anything before we that's go? That's right. Awesome. <laughs> you guys were great. I hope you learned something about the insurance. Uh, contact uh, Dana and Jeff. Um, they're really good. They'll help you out there. Uh, they have a lot of ways for those things to work together to where you get sick and you actually end up coming out on top financially somehow. So it's pretty cool. Um, all right, guys, I will uh, talk to you guys all soon next week. Um, we'll have a, we might have a CE class next week. Um, if we have time, we'll talk about this knock thing. Look up this knock thing um, and just try to have it look another, uh, another arrow in your quiver guys to, uh, to use if you've got a client. And right now, who doesn't have a client who can't, who's worried about buying before they sell and all that kind of stuff. So learn that program, Get you can get NOC certified. Another thing that sets you apart from your competition. You can use things like, I can get your home rekeyed. You can use things like our ADT guy that gives them six free months. You can use things like a solar person that uh, that we've got that, that will either pay you back or give them a credit. Stuff like that. If you've got clients looking for stuff, give them extra service. Give them a reason why 
Daryl was better than the last agent. Why Malvis is better than their last agent. Give them, you know what I mean? Give them a reason why Daryl, why Mal, why should I use the dual when I could use somebody else, right? And it's because you guys are offering things that other people aren't. Okay. You have a um, yes, remind it. And the shot class is Monday. The shot class is Monday. You guys make sure you get signed up for that. What's that? No, I mean so, eleven o'clock. Sign up for that, and then we we got one on the, on the seventeenth also. Um, far bar updates for the far bar updates. You guys know the far bar updates that kick in in January, so um, you need to learn about them before then. And don't get confused and start using the information you get now before then. But starting then, you'll see the different form. Okay. Starting all right. January. Thank you, everybody. Great to talk to you all, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Have a Ryan great week. January, starting January. Yeah, the, the, the new revisions kick in January. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Thank okay. you, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.